Hey, this is Seb, and Bohemia Interactive finally revealed more information about the Infusion Engine. Right now, you can go to this website and look at the entire presentation. Here, you will get exclusive insight in what the Infusion Engine is, what it's capable of, as well as what that means to us as players and creators. If you are completely new to what the Infusion Engine is, it's the new engine that Bohemia Interactive have been working on for at least the last four years. To quote BI themselves, Infusion is basically a fusion of what's great about real world reality, the engine that powered the Arma series, and the Enforce engine, but furthermore building on them with up-to-date technology, so we can certainly expect simulations of large open worlds and user-friendly mobility. It is no secret and Behemoth themselves say that this engine is what's going to power their future titles. Real virtuality was getting old and Armor G was pushing on its limitations quite a lot. What you are seeing here from video and screenshots is the Infusion engine and what Armor 4 will be built on. That is now a very safe assumption to make. Bohemian themselves even addresses Armor 4 on this website in the official FAQ and they say, and I quote, what about Armor 4? We don't have anything new to share regarding the future of the Armor series aside from the fact that we will use Infusion for any potential new Armor game. The website expresses that Infusion is a lot more flexible than RV and is significantly more user friendly for both developers and its users. Unlike RV and Enforce, Infusion will be 100% a multi platform engine with an extensive online backend. This means we can expect future titles to be on console and PC. That is great news for console players who has often been neglected. With the new engine, BI promises that their game can run smoothly and look great across PC and console, online and offline. From the website we can see that Infusion uses up-to-date rendering tech and multi-threading wherever possible, the new N4 script is faster, more capable, and much better at memory utilization. Also with news from Bohemia we are again assured that modding is a core of Infusion and we will be getting exclusive tools with the Infusion Workbench. The Infusion Workbench is a set of integrated development tools used to create games or game modifications in Infusion. It's going to be available to every community creator on Windows PC and it's the same set of tools that their own developers has used and will use to create future and fusion games. The Infusion Workbench currently consists of the following editors, world, particle, animation, script, audio, behavior, procedural animation and a string editor. What I find particularly interesting is that they say that the Infusion Workbench also connects to the backend systems including their own multi-platform workshop solution. So does this mean that we're not gonna have a Steam workshop? Combined with the workshop, the workbench also serves as a fully integrated environment for developing, packaging and publishing tools for Infusion games. So to me this sounds like we might not even see a Steam publication. What I think is really exciting is that everything with modding now seems a lot more streamlined. Like you don't have to license any specific software to create assets. Free and open source apps like Blender will fit right in with the workflow of Infusion. Everything else you need should be in this workbench. From all of this news, I think we're going to see more Infusion news real soon and that 2022 will be giving us a playable demo at some point during that year. I still think ARM4 is a few years off, but seeing all of this and how, how far they've come with the Infusion engine, I think uh, the development has started in some way for the next ARM title. That's all from me. If you want more news and content related to Bohemia and the Armor series, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment what you think about this huge announcement from Bohemia Interactive. Now stay safe.